Is she? Is she a hero? <laughs> Hey, what's up peeps? Welcome back for another video. Today I have for you Hell of a Boss Season 1 Episode 1 Murder Family. Last time we watched the pilot episode and it was actually really really funny. I laughed my ass off. I thought it was hilarious and I'm just excited to get into this. Honestly, once again, I just don't really want to waste a whole lot of time. So I'm just going to go ahead and get right into it. So, let me end this by saying if you guys like this video and like what you see, or you just find yourself coming back in the regular, then please do like and subscribe, it'd really help out a lot. And remember guys, if you want to see this full length reaction, as well as early access to content, a private Patreon Discord server, and more, then go down to the Patreon link down below. But with all that being said, let's go ahead and watch Hell of a Boss Season 1, Episode 1, Murder Family. I was good my entire life. Ooh. I hope you all did your homework. We love to do our homework. Oh, songs again. <laughs> it's nine in the morning on January 8th. The sun is out spring. And it's your husband's birthday. Oh, my stars? Stop singing, children. Hush up now. I forgot it's my husband's birthday. Oh. I was wondering what was happening. Okay. Oh yeah, right there. You. Oh no. Uh oh. Remember what you taught us? Think before you act. Oh. <laughs> Uh oh. Done. In front of you all. Oh. Don't forget to work on your time safe. <laughs> you do everything right in life. Wow, okay. I mean, was she hotter? Oh, Dude. <laughs> I don't think you quite understand how we're operating down here. See, we take revenge out on the living, and it sounds like the core cast of your sitcom of a death, frankly, are all probably down here in hell with you. Not all of them. That whore survived. Oh. How does it feel to have survived such a crazy bitch? <laughs> you are so brave. Here's two million dollars. Oh, thank you. Between the talk shows and donation bullshit, she made so much goddamn cash. Wow. You're a hero. You're a hero, girl. My mama's a hero. Is she? Is she a hero? You're a hero. Not even the kids. She is not a hero. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay, yeah, my thoughts exactly. Okay. <laughs> Moxie, stop shaking. You're gonna shoot our only hail ham. Why does she sound different? Was she recasted? She sounds so much different from the pilot. Was she recasted? Her voice is a lot deeper. You're gonna shoot our only hail ham. Wow, I feel so loved here. <laughs> Under what circumstances would we ever need to kill a human family? I mean, if that's what the client wants. Maybe like a shitty dad. Or a mob family. That's understandable. <laughs> hey, you don't know they're innocent. This kid probably sets dogs on fire. Maybe this girl gets off to bullying Australian kids online, and this guy. Wow. This guy definitely watches. <laughs> but guilty and innocent aren't our business, Mox. Killing who we're paid to is our business. We could be a bit more selective, is all. Guys, I want you to meet. Moxie! Our newest client. <laughs> Damn it, Moxie, I just bought the <laughs> <laughs> When did we start implementing that deal? When you set fire to my office in front of a client, you fucking dick shit! <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> Brandon is doing amazing with this. Holy shit. Brandon Rogers is just incredible. I can already tell that he's he's he you can tell that he's having a blast with this. And that's why you're my favorite, Looney. <laughs> you get a tweet now. Ew, stop. Uh, oh. You're so gross. Oh, stop <laughs> it. I get enough of that from my therapist. Now let's go lick some ass. The expression is kick some ass. 
Blitz. Mine's better. <laughs> Moxie, do you want this one? Me? Yeah, this one's simple enough for you to handle. It's just a happy mother who just got out of the hospital. Are we actually killing a family? No, don't be a puss. We're just killing a mother. We're ruining a family. But <gasps> hold on, hold on. Let's just think about this. Moxie! But whatever it is, they're gonna be a Maru Nights dinner. Alright, kids! Guns out! Looks like we got What the fuck? What the fuck was that, Moxie? <laughs> what the fuck was that sound? Oh, who the fuck is innocent Moxie? From the moment of birth, you're already a parasite leeching off your mama's tits. Get the fuck over yourself, you baby <laughs> dick. <laughs> a new hole! Scatter! A new hole! <laughs> Ooh. Oh. They're creepy. Aren't you cute? It's nice to have, have a new critter to play with. Playlist. Fuck that shit. Oh. Crumbs. Oh, they're cannibals. Whoa, okay. I can make that pain go real quick. Christ. Oh, is it the is it the This is a really bad time. When isn't it a bad time, Blitzy? What is it? I've been meaning to follow up on our last little conversation. Oh my god, his voice sounds so much different too. It makes him so much hotter. Why why is his voice why is his voice changed? He's so much hotter. I can't deal with this. No. Okay. No. Uh, oh, okay. I've been meaning to follow up on our last little conversation regarding my grimoire. What did you just call me? My book, Blitzy. The book I was given to do my job that I have allowed you to use to do yours. I can hear you, darling. Ooh. But I do need it back to fulfill my duties. I was thinking, what if we worked out some kind of exchange? Favors for favors. Doesn't that sound enticing? You gotta stop using your fancy ass rich people talk, okay? I'm trying to concentrate on not getting fucked in my A! Then let me keep it simple. <laughs> Once a month, on the full moon, you return the book to me, followed by a night of passionate fornication. And you get to keep it all the rest of the time, hmm? Sound fair, my little imp? Blitz, if you don't take the deal, I will. <laughs> No! I just... <laughs> we just went through this with Alistair. It's happening again. And it's so much worse now because the pilot, yes, he was like... He's so much hotter than Alistair. And in the pilot, like, he, he was like... But now it's like, it's like he's so much hotter with that new voice and... You know, it's... Um, I can't... I can't... Like, I've already went through this with Alistair, so I can already tell this is, yeah, this is, this is going to be uh, something to deal with for, for a while. I'm so excited. I cannot wait to feel your slimy c*** inside of my c*** <gasps> Gotcha! So you're <laughs> He's still going! <laughs> <laughs> harm them though cuz they're from hell yeah that's not exactly how it works ladies sorry your yeah. fire doesn't really hurt us but I mean I could fake it if that'll get your dick hard <laughs> <laughs> I'll just shoot you in your smart ass mouth that would be more effective Blech. oh my god dude <laughs> <laughs> there we go oh they're cute I'm sorry, sir. I compromised our objective and put us in harm's way. It won't happen again. I promise. Apology accepted. 
But if you ever pull a stunt like this again, I will fuck you and your wife. Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh. oh my God, he's still going! <laughs> oh my God! What are you gonna do, little guy? Kill us? I should. You people are monsters. But you should have a chance at a life and a purpose. Look at your children. They have their whole future ahead of them. You are going to face your crimes justly. I will call your earthly authorities, and they will make sure you are dealt with fairly. I'm handling this my way. Hmm. Look, I don't care where you come in the living world. Just come to your job on time, all right? See you at the office. You doing okay, sweetie? Better now, honey. I think I just needed a minute to process. You have a good heart, honey. Just a fussy head. Oh, they're cute. They're really cute. Here's to another mission accomplished, and Moxie finally learned not to fuck up. And killing people isn't that big a deal if they try to kill you back. That's messed up. But I paid for it. <laughs> yeah, fuck that family. Jesus Christ. <laughs> no, that, oh man. Damn, these feel so short, man. Oh, that was only 13 minutes. I want so much more. <laughs> I think the other episodes are longer. Especially, I think when I looked last episode, when I looked at the other episodes and their times, I think season two's episodes were longer. So I think season one's episodes will go up to like 15 minutes or something like that. I think that's how much time they have. And then I think the other ones will have like 20 to 25 minutes, I believe. I'm not, I'm not entirely sure. I have to look again. But um, that was really good. I enjoyed that a lot. All right, guys, I think that's going to do it for this episode of Hell of a Boss Season 1, Episode 1, Murder Family. That was really good. It was really funny. I enjoyed it a lot. We got to dive more into, um, we got to dive more into Moxie and his job. You know, during the pilot, I was saying like, you know, he's too nice, you know, so I'm not sure how this job's going to work out. And, you know, during this episode, he compromised the mission. He screwed up and put Millie and, um, and Blitz in harm's way. You know, they almost died. And, you know, Moxie was there to shoot the woman and, you know, he saved them so that was pretty cool i'm guessing by this point on maybe he'll try and like grow more into this murderer role you know it seems like he's pretty new at this so yeah and then we have um stolas who is so much hotter from the pilot or in this episode than from the pilot and obviously there's like a little bit of a romance between blitz and uh and stolas so I'm hoping that we'll get to dive more into that in depth uh, later on. Millie was just kind of there for um, just to kind of handle things on her own. You know, she was just kind of she didn't really have a whole lot going on. And I hope we get to explore her character soon. I hope we get to explore all the characters, actually. And then we barely saw Luna. And like, you know, Luna, I think, has the least amount of screen time. So I'm hoping that she does get more screen time. But anyways, I think that about wraps it up. So let me end this by saying if you guys like this video and like what you see, or you just find yourself coming back in the regular, then please do like and subscribe. It would really help out a lot. And remember guys, if you want to see this full length reaction as well as early access to content, a private Patreon Discord server, and more, then go down to the Patreon link down below. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.